guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to do these furry tops so i'm going to start with these tops right here um i have used these tops for my personal collection i didn't want to do it on like regular unused ones because i didn't plan on like selling those i don't know i don't know if i want to sell these or not that's why i like to do these on tubes on um, tops that i already have just in case i like mess up because i'm not perfect at this i'm just showing you how i do them um there are probably better ways at doing this but i'm just going to show you my method anyway so all you need is some yarn now this is like some furry yarn i'm not sure like the exact term of this but as you can see it's just yarn and it has like fur on it i got this at hobby lobby in the yarn aisle um for these these cost 5.99 um they do have smaller ones that are much thinner than this and it's like less hair for like 2 dollars and then you just need you some Gorilla Glue. So yeah, you don't really need much. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut off like a strand of this, like something not too long, maybe like, maybe about this long or so, not too long. And just place it like this on there and just kind of spread it out like that so you want to do this all the way around so I'm just going to turn this over like this and just kind of spread it out Try not to put too much glue on here though. So I'm not putting more out, I'm just kind of spreading it out with the top. So something like this is what you want. Okay, so that's good. And just make sure you're putting down like the line part is that like the fur, but it can be kind of hard to do that. So I'm just gonna like press it like this, and then I'm just gonna like roll it around so it can kind of stick on its own, like that. And then you lift it up and just keep going around until you can't see the tube anymore. So I always start off with like the sides and then after I finish the sides, I go up to the top. So the sides are pretty much done. So after that, I just uh, let it dry for a bit. Since it's already wrapped around, I'm just gonna put this down, let it dry. Then after it dries, I'm gonna do the top. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do one more. So I'm just going to put that to the side. In the store, they only had these two colors, but you may be able to find some more online. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm just going to cut a good chunk off 
I mean, you can leave it on the yarn, but I feel like it's easier if you just cut like a string off. Okay, Okay, so I waited about 10 to 20 minutes for it to dry. So now the top is the tricky part, okay? I struggle with the top. Okay, so here's where we left off. Now either you can just cut this or you can just kind of like just keep wrapping. Um, I'm just gonna like keep wrapping it. So I'm just gonna move this out the way a little bit. And then just kind of put some glue on the top. Try not to put too much. I always tend to overdo it. So um, that's about good enough. Okay. So now I just want to kind of wrap this around, but do it kind of like in, like in a zigzag. So kind of like this. And then you can go back like that if needed. But it might not stay because we don't need that there. So you just want to kind of like press down, kind of cover up like all of the glue or whatever. You might have to fold it multiple ways. And again, you just want to like pat down. So as you can see, it's like an opening right here. So I would just pat down so that covers. Or if that doesn't work, what you can always do it's just put some more glue there and put some more hair around it. So as you can see, like the glue kind of like dried up a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more glue here. Like that. And just kind of wrap it around. 
try not to pull so hard like I am. Like that. So we can kind of stay. And it pretty much goes. So again, if you see like more openings, like this one right here, you can just pat or just reapply some more glue for it to stay. So yeah, it's gonna look kind of messy, but again, practice makes perfect. I'm not perfect, so once you're done, you can just kind of just cut this tail off right here. If I can find the scissors. Yeah, you just cut this like this, kind of close, like that. So this, you can use this for another one, for like the second top that you would do, you can just reuse that. So here's how the top would look. Again, as you can see, not the best, but yeah, that's the inside. So you just wanna put this down gently. Put this down gently and then just let it dry for another 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna do this one more time. I'm sorry, two more times. Hopefully I don't struggle as much. Let that dry, and then you're all done. That's pretty much how you make the furry tops. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.